Hey, what's up guys? Jamie here, and I am going to talk about Raw last night and some of the rumors that are going on in professional wrestling and stuff that is coming up. So, depending on when you watch this video, the Royal Rumble is this Sunday. Can we just say how fast time is flying by? Like, we'll already be saying that 2015 went by so fast. The Royal Rumble is coming up. WrestleMania is in less than three months. It is very early this year, March 29th. Which, I'm having a slight dilemma because if you are a wrestling fan and you watch this, this show too, which a lot of wrestling fans do, then you are probably having this dilemma too. But before I get to that, it hasn't really even set in or registered that, in my brain, that WrestleMania is this close away. Because I remember in December, they're like, next month is the Royal Rumble, and Wrestle and it'll be the road to WrestleMania. And I was just like, what are they talking about? WrestleMania is still a long time away. And I was just like, it was just like, didn't even register in my mind that that was true, and I looked on the calendar, and I'm like, holy crap, WrestleMania really is only, like, three months away, it literally feels like we had WrestleMania yesterday, or it really just feels like we just, just got over WrestleMania 30, I am still in the process of recovering from the streak ending, no, but seriously, um, I still feel sad that the streak had, had, has come to an end, but I'm not as sad as I first was when it did come to an end. Although, can I just say that WrestleMania, from when the ref's hand hit for the third time on The Undertaker at WrestleMania, WrestleMania has changed forever. And I also want to say that um, WrestleMania will never be the same now. But anyways... That's one of the rumors I wanted to address, is The Undertaker possibly facing the Wyatt, and I don't really know how I feel about that, although I would be very, very happy to see him, because you cannot have a WrestleMania without The Undertaker. It'll feel funny, really, really, really funny, and not the same, and just weird, without the streak as it is, but especially to not have Taker, like, no matter what, streak or not, that is still his yard. So, for him to not even be there would still feel weird. Like, I would love to see him. I would love to see him wrestle again. But at the same time, I'm leaning towards, like, I don't really want him to because I don't want him to kill himself in the ring. But whatever he decides, he decides. And I'm sure he's going to, if he's not ever going to wrestle again, you know he'll make appearances here or there. He'll be there in the background. Um, I know that's not really the same. But... Third of all, or I don't know what number I'm on, but Raw was yesterday. Um, I did enjoy the last match actually with John Cena, and I'm enjoying seeing Sting. I'm glad Daniel Bryan's back. I don't really mind the storyline going on right now. Um, I totally even forgot that Brock Lesnar was the champion. I also really like John Cena's new shirt. I would not buy it, but... I absolutely love the color. I am obsessed with the color blue, although I'm not wearing blue now. I'm wearing a North Face, and it's purple-ish gray. You can't see. It looks more gray right now, but I really, really like it. it has nothing to do with storylines or anything. First of all, it's really epic to see Sting, period. Um, I'm pretty sure we probably thought he would never step foot in the ring, I don't know if they're planning to have Sting wrestle at some point. I read that they're going to tease him here and there. Um, I guess there's always a possibility that he could. I mean, we never even thought he would step foot into the company, and he has. So will he face Taker? Probably looking a little bit not so much. But for me, as long as we see Taker, and as long as he doesn't hurt himself, if he does decide to wrestle, then I'm okay. Um... Although wrestling, wrestling will never be the same again. Now back to my dilemma. So if you are a Walking Dead fan and a wrestling fan at the same time, you can understand my dilemma. WrestleMania is usually in the first week of April. This year it is very early as I repeated before, March 29th. And 
I love them very, very much. Like, I'm obsessed with The Walking Dead and wrestling, as you can see from the background. And I have wrestling posters over there. Or not wrestling, but Walking Dead posters that you can't see right now. Secondly, um, here's the thing. Wrestle... WrestleMania and The Walking Dead will both be on at the same time. The Walking Dead's only an hour, so they'll only be on at the same time for one hour. But it's not like it's not like wrestling is showing a regular paper pay per view, and it's not like The Walking Dead is is showing a non a regular episode. Not only will it be the season five finale of The Walking Dead, we won't be seeing The Walking Dead for seven months. And it'll return in October. So I know I could watch a repeat or I could um, record it, but that is not the same. And it's a really, really important episode. And I don't want to miss it. But then again, I don't, I can't res miss WrestleMania for that hour because it's probably an important match on during that. I don't know if that's when Taker will come on if he's wrestling. And I really don't want to miss either of it. And I don't want to miss The Talking Dead. So, and I don't want to be spoiled because my timeline will be flooded with Walking Dead and WrestleMania. So, that is my dilemma. Could they, like, not schedule it around the same time? Because The Walking Dead is on from 9 to 10. And usually that's nearing the main event. Although they have still have a full hour, though. Um, well, the full two hours between 9 and 11. But still, like, depending on the match, I might... I'm going to buy WrestleMania, obviously. I don't have the network. I might just buy it for that month. Just to watch it on my laptop. And that way... Ha and then... Um, that way we could switch it on, and then for that hour, I switch it onto my laptop for WrestleMania and have Walking Dead on on the big TV. But yes, that is my dilemma. So comment down below what you think of Raw last night. So comment down below on what videos you want to see me make. Comment down below for Q&A questions, and I will be doing, my next videos will be a camera unbagging. Um, Q&A, anxiety video. See you next week with an all new video. Bye! What I also got is a Walking Dead fleece. A nice Walking Dead blanket when I get cold on the couch or on my